NASA Centennial Challenges looks to the public, industry, entrepreneurs, small businesses, and even garage inventors to develop revolutionary solutions to some of the biggest challenges that NASA faces. Our Astronaut Glove Challenge sourced novel ways to improve the gloves that astronauts use in space, making it easier for them to perform tasks during spacewalks. My background is in costuming. I'm a designer and fabricator, and these challenges allow people like myself to participate in a dialogue about aerospace that otherwise I would have no entrance in. Our Lunar Lander Challenge tasked teams with building and flying a rocket-powered vehicle that simulates the flight of a vehicle on the moon. Our sample return robot centennial challenge asked competitors to develop an autonomous rover that could seek out and cache samples for future return missions from other worlds. It takes high resolution pictures of the area, it analyzes those images, and then it sends the robot after it. This is like a, a top notch uh, competition, and it's NASA, I mean, well, it, it's awesome. Our 3D printed habitat challenge sourced ideas and technologies to develop 3D printers that could one day print habitats on the moon and Mars, and also here on Earth. It's often counterintuitive that space research actually improves Earth, but it's seen time and time again. We are all together developing a technology that advances the way we think about constructing buildings on Earth. Nothing gets done without multiple people coming together. Our Space Robotics Challenge is advancing robotic software and autonomous capabilities for space exploration missions on other worlds. Sending robots ahead of humans could give us a robotic leg up. We look at this robot as being a type of caretaker robot that can manage human environments while the crew's not there. NASA's first in-space competition, the CubeQuest Challenge, tasked the public with developing small satellites capable of orbiting the moon, surviving the longest in deep space, or being able to communicate from beyond our moon back to Earth. It's a wonderful challenge to be able to go and push the boundaries of what exists. Excited might be an understatement. It's an amazing opportunity. Our vascular tissue challenge is tasking the public with creating vascularized human organ tissue in vitro in order to advance research and benefit medicine on long duration space missions and on Earth. It will have an enormous impact on humankind. It can really change the face of medicine as we know it. NASA's CO2 conversion challenge is all about converting carbon dioxide into sugars as a step to creating mission critical resources. By combining these byproducts with on site materials, we could create fuels, food, construction materials, and even medicine. So the NASA Centennial Challenge really opened the door. I think it's a really great illustration of how open NASA is to change and how important these competitions are. The NASA Centennial Challenge for me was a life-changing experience. And there's so much more to come. Keep up with NASA Centennial Challenges and learn how to get involved as we continue to work with the public to advance technologies both on Earth and in space.